Hello everyone. Today uh, I have a message for you from the Galactic Federation of Light. Um, the Galactic Federation of Light has been in contact with me since um, 2011 uh, that I had a shamanic experience and that I have been shown uh, the, uh, uh, the ships uh, flying uh, around uh, Earth and I make a direct communication with one of them and uh, since then I uh, have uh, open telepathic communication and um, I just uh, do this video to, um, to remind you that uh, we are always supported by uh, the Galactic Federation of Light um, there is uh, many 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 millions of ships parked around the planet in this moment they are assisting us in, into smoothing our ascension process and sending us energies to uh, uplift us and uh, of course this is more uh, um, being received by our beings when we are uh, asking for it and uh, we remain open to receive and uh, um, there is uh, uh, especially uh, two of them I want to mention that I feel I, I, I need to mention in this, in this moment as a reminder, because I believe that many of you already know this information, um, Ashtar is uh, the one who is overseeing uh, the Galactic Federation of Light for all uh, the um, uh, uh, everything that is taking place uh, on the planet and how things move forward. And there is also the New Jerusalem, which is a, a mothership which is parked in front of Venus and in which one uh, there is Sananda, Aka, Jesus Christ, who stays in, on, on, in, in, in this ship, who is also overseeing the whole process. Of course, the Ascended Masters, they don't uh, need, they also live uh, mostly out of their bodies. They don't have physical bodies, but there is also like, uh, in the way you can conceive it, this is ships, it's mother ships. And uh, uh, there is also huge, huge spaces that I'm, I'm just receiving it now. I can feel it right now as, as, as I connect my consciousness with this, with the, one of the mother ships. I feel the spaciousness of these ships and uh, it's really, really, they're really huge. And as a matter of fact, a few days ago, we were having a retreat, a yoga retreat here in Greece. And um, I have seen a, a huge mother ship that parked a little bit outside of uh, a beach, uh, sand beach uh, uh, called Monolithi, close to privacy. There was a big, big mothership that parked there, and I know they are doing a lot of work. Usually, I'm sleeping outside in my balcony. It's very warm here in Greece, and uh, I just make uh, a small, uh, put a small mattress, and I sleep outside. So I'm always having. I can always observe the stars, and uh, yesterday also there was a lot of activities, a lot of uh, lights passing by. I can recognize them. Uh, which one of them is, uh, is uh, ships, um, they appear, they disappear and they're sending me signs, they are flashing me to, to show me because uh, all of us we have like uh, um, our own teams uh, that are protecting us and uh, when, when, uh, one, when somebody intends to connect with them it's just, about, it's just about saying it, I am galactic contact, saying these words I am galactic contact, I am by saying this, these words, it becomes uh, it becomes a reality. It's just uh, quantum physics. So by saying these words and believing it and um, uh, doing our best to share the message, then it becomes more and more. It becomes uh, more focus becomes bigger and bigger. And in this energies that now uh, the Earth is bathed, uh, it's very it's becoming easier and easier to focus on the things that we want to focus. So um, the uh, Galactic Federation of uh, Light, um, they want us also to know, let me please connect for a while. They want us to know that um, all is well that um, what is about to happen in the next uh, period of uh, three months it's gonna be uh, a very uh, strong uh, experience from from the energies that come, are coming through 
and uh, they're asking us to keep on doing our work uh, into um, going into meditation, connecting with nature, with the trees on a daily basis to do this uh, sacred work with ourselves, to love ourselves and at the same time do the best we can to connect and um, try to open a communication uh, with, uh, with them or it can be also with the Ascended Masters and uh, with the fairies, there is, there is many, many, many ways to connect uh, with the higher energies and uh, to receive guidance, to connect with the higher self, to receive guidance and uh, even though it appears that there's going to be like um, a second uh, lockdown which is going to happen at some, some point and most probably in September, uh, they are asking us to not worry. They are asking us to not uh, uh, to uh, to accept uh, this as a, uh, a safety measure, a measure of security, because it's not about this pandemic. It's about uh, um, uh, cleaning, clearing up uh, um, the planet from uh, unwanted energies that don't have our best interest, which is already happening right now. There is a lot of clearing uh, of all those that are uh, uh, trying to uh, delay the process of ascension. Divine Mother has decreed that this is going forward and nothing can stop the plan. The plan, uh, the plan is going well and is going amazingly well. And there are signs of this, of this um, all over the places. And there is also a huge shift taking place into the, um, the financial systems. There will be some... Uh, some difficulty most probably in, in, in the next months so they're also asking us without uh, uh, trying to uh, to put any fear out there just to make sure to have enough provisions at home for the next months in case that uh, this scenario or this like, is a timeline that's being created that it goes in a, in a more in a more in a more uh, crisis way which I don't believe because I believe that um, uh, we have uh, very strong uh, meditations, global meditation we're doing right now that is about um, fortifying uh, the flower, uh, flower of life meditation, fortifying the, the grid around the planet. We are many thousands of us and millions doing this work. <clears throat> and as a matter of fact, we have a meditation today at, uh, I think it's at uh, 2 o'clock uh, Central European time in the afternoon. Uh, you can go on the website We Love Mass Meditations and look for the Flower of Life Meditation, which is already taking place every day, in every four hours. So this is a very, very nice way to fortify the grid around the planet. So your participation is always welcome. It's in this way also you, anyone can start to become more aware of the energies and connect with the, with the higher energies and receive messages like I do. And then we have like uh, you, or you, anybody who is like uh, wanting to communicate and channel information. Then, then you can also you can also cross our information and see, okay, you know that uh, that uh, this guy is, is saying the truth because I'm receiving also the same message and I'm reading also somewhere else. So it, it is true. <clears throat> so <clears throat> so this is about this about about anything I'm speaking to you is always about having discernment as well. So it's about about. Uh, uh, taking the, the the message and then doing the best and then seeing for this what the, what is what is happening in real reality and then also create our own realities through our uh, emotions and uh, the way we feel and um, and um, um, the Galactic Federation of Light so <laughs> let's not go out to the subject also wants us to know that uh, um, there is uh, um, a great shift happening also into the financial systems and um, the financial systems that are going there are going to be funds um, uh, prosperity funds that will be that will start being distributed from uh, from uh, 2021 to everybody on the planet so basic universal income is coming uh, and uh, there will be also um, a lot of uh, other uh, things like um, many release of uh, of um, um, technologies that are coming forward. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, I believe this is a very good moment for me to share with you something because let me give me a minute. I'm gonna bring it. Just because I, I like to have like tangible, physical uh, proof of what I'm saying. Uh, so this is, this is a project that we have 
It comes from uh, a Greek inventor here in Greece and uh, it's about free energy. It is not about uh, creating energy with uh, uh, solar energy or, or, or uh, uh, from the wind. It is about creating energy from gravity. It's a great technology. It works with, uh, with spheres that fall and then they create energy. Don't ask me how it works. I, just, I, can, I can just show you that we have here a complete preparation presentation for the whole thing this is this has been ready already since six years and uh, so far the uh, the Greek government did not give the compliance to go because this is as we know this is the the law around the planet just to show you that 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 projects like this they exist all across the planet there are so many technologies that are are, are, are in process to be released and this is happening through the 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 law of Jazara Nazara that is uh, being put in place gradually. 209 countries have already signed, which which means that they, their governments they also are complying with the new ways of being. So of course there is like some people in within the governments that are not doing the jobs. And what's happening right now, the Galactic Federation of, of, of uh, Light is supporting Trump. Trump is doing a great job to also save the children. There is many children that are being saved all across the planet right now. There are there is many videos about this, many blogs about this now. The truth is going to come be coming out more and more. And around 2001, the whole truth will, will appear and everybody will know what really, what really, what really took place this thousands of years behind us and uh, as a matter of fact as today as, as well today and and this is bringing together all things it's a gradual process first is the uncovering of the truth of what really took place and then it's coming forward all the 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 new earth reality with all technologies but just to show you that i've been wanting to move on with this project for for now for for five years that that i want this to move forward because what I'm doing is, uh, since now almost 11 years, I'm very focused. I knew from, from a long time that, that um, the, um, uh, the energies, the, the, the how, call it however you like, the deep state, whatever you like, the governments, they, they didn't want us to become autonomous. So for me, it was a, an intention to have in my mind that I want to create eco-sustainable, communities, autonomous communities. So, so the law of attraction brought to me a lot of beautiful communities that I, I had the chance to live in Ibiza, in Belgium, in UK, uh, even in the center of London, we had amazing communities with, uh, with um, coming together with uh, dancing and uh, making uh, um, uh, vegan events with uh, completely uh, no, no toxicity and uh, having having a lot of 800,000 people dancing uh, with the mothers coming with the babies behind and uh, create community, great people coming together and celebrating completely clean. This is, this is a dream. This is, this is the new earth. This is how I see new earth uh, developing in the years to come. I see more vegan and high vibration of foods become a part of our reality. And, and I see also the free energy. The free energy is part of, of, of the process. And because I mean, the, the communities, if we build communities, then the communities need to have free energy to move forward. And it, it's, it's about starting small, wherever you are, and then building the community wherever you are, from the people around that are, are resonating, and then start slowly. And then, and then to start slowly, it means that we have to find ways to, to, uh, to be autonomous. And this is one of the technologies, but there are coming much more. And, and, and this is going to happen also while we go into this process of, uh, of uh, agreement with uh, the Nezara Jezara laws. And, uh, and uh, the Galactic Federation wants us to know that because they are also helping us. And uh, the help is not like uh, they are coming to save us. Okay, So we are the ones doing the job here. We are, many of us, part of the Galactic Federation of Light that are here, the boots on the ground doing the work. And our work is... Uh, our agreement, our mission, our purpose is to bring these these things forward to allow each and every one on the planet to um, to firmly ground 
uh, the ascension process uh, on the planet and so we have the ascension of the planet taking happening with this grace and flow so for this to happen it's uh, it's a process that's taking place uh, if you read the law the uh, different agreements Nazara Jazara that are, are all the time being edited as we progress forward because it's um, uh, something that uh, has been created in, in I believe in 1962, as shared by Charles Ward, that I advise you to follow as well, um, that uh, the Nazara law has been created and uh, it has been edited and now, to, now it's coming forward in uh, to ad uh, being adapted to, to our, uh, to our uh, societies. And uh, this is going to even more uh, bring more ease and grace in uh, the way we we live our lives and uh, and of course the message right now is about taking care of ourselves and uh, connecting and uh, in case which I believe is 100% uh, sure almost 100% that's gonna happen the next lockdown taking place which is gonna be shorter than the first one uh, it's about taking the time to go within and connecting and uh, and uh, uh, doing the work to uh, find the pieces within us that need to to be activated so uh, no worries all is well it's about staying safe uh, so nobody's being hurt and uh, into this um, this um, uh, upcoming uh, days in September and uh, and uh, also uh, about knowing that there is a, a huge uh, change taking place behind the scenes that is being activated and the more of us are speaking about these new ways uh, the, the, of being created, the quantum financial system, the free energy coming forward and uh, the new lives, living uh, like sustainable communities and uh, helping the children. Um, we have another project also that I'm working on for building schools in, Af in Africa, in Uganda, in Senegal. It's also already a project that, that's already existing since already eight years now that I'm also working on and I have direct contact with the people there. So so this is all in process. I'm not the only one. There is there is so many others that are working on, on, on many other projects to bring the changes. And this is this is going to be more and more apparent. And then from this from these activities, so to to guarantee you as well to show you that that no matter where you stand in your uh, in your life and no matter if you have a job or you don't have a job, there will be plenty of jobs being created in 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 the in the years to come and in the months years to come. So if this is a period in your life that you don't know what what is your purpose, it's also about this. It's also about understanding that there won't be any lack of anything. There will be enough. There will be basically universal income and if you want to work there is also a way to work to serve and to do to 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 make money for the time it's needed uh, by doing something that is really uplifting everybody so so because <laughs> i have been going through this process for a long time and i was always asking myself god please i want to make a work a work doing some work that's really helping everybody and not just uh, being in a, in a kind of a limited way that I see that is helping some people but actually the most of the people it's not really not really there so my wish is becoming true and uh, and uh, because whatever I was working into this the older system I could see that there are some things that weren't right and I tried to change it but it was not really working because I could not make money with these new ways I was doing so okay, it doesn't matter. The, the the what matters is that we remain happy in whatever we do. It's not about the money. It's about remaining happy, remaining joyful in our activity. And uh, and then uh, and then yeah, that's about it for now. I believe. Let me ask again the Galactic Federation of Light if I have something else to talk to you about. Um, Yes, I also receive a message to speak about uh, high vibrational foods. I'm gonna make a video about this on my next. Uh, I'm gonna make a, a video uh, on the next. The next video is gonna be about it. So I'm gonna most probably make some food and share with you what I'm doing, how I'm keeping a high vibrational diet, and what is, what are my habits, 
and uh, you can also take some pieces from there and try to adapt it in your own uh, life. I tell you already I'm raw vegan since almost now five years and I have been vegetarian since 2008 and then I became vegan in 2012 so it's stages and uh, and um, uh, I use also intermittent fasting and that's all for now and thank you very much and namaste. <laughs>